je vais être très clair. C'est mon cinquième Comic Con Paris, je sais, je suis vieux. J'ai rarement vu autant d'effervescence euh, autour d'un invité, autour d'invités et autour d'une série. Je... Ah, non, c'est pas le concert de Patrick. C est, c est, c est... Alors si vous êtes là pour ça, il faut aller au Zénith parce que ça n'a rien à voir. D'abord parce que nous allons accueillir un formidable comédien britannique, un oubli par la reine, ouais, dans son pays. Aussi à l'aise dans le drame que dans la science-fiction, il a joué dans Dune, dans Excalibur, plus récemment, moi je l'ai adoré dans Green Room, qui a vu Green Room ici. Formidable film. Euh, il a été un professeur à roulettes pour élèves mutants. Ouais, il a voyagé dans le temps et un jour il est revenu. Il est redevenu ce petit français qui se promène dans l'espace. Voici donc, live from Comic Con Paris, L'équipé sauvage de la série Amazon Prime, Star Trek Picard, nous allons accueillir Yvonne Evagora, Aiza Grilanes, bonjour, Santiago Cabrera, Michel Peur, accompagné du 5 de l'unique, l'inestimable, l'irremplaçable, la légende, Patrick for being here. Uh, it's an honor to, to have all of you here today. Uh, merci beaucoup à Amazon Prime de nous faire ce cadeau. Uh, I think, Patrick, uh, you don't speak any French, but Jean-Luc is so French. How come? Je ne vous parlez pas français alors que Jean-Luc, il est français. Je suis euh, pareil français un petit peu. Do you speak any French? Est-ce que vous parlez français? Ça, un petit peu. Un petit peu? Si, oui. Okay. Pas mal, pas mal, not bad. Not bad. Uh, Sir Patrick, I think you have a, a, a small gift for us. Je, je crois que vous avez un petit cadeau pour nous. Oh oui! <laughs> uh, yeah, we have brought something with us. Uh, something we are very excited about and quite pleased with. No, please, just introduce the... Uh, Rambling on, it doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, uh, we have a trailer for our... Yeah. Uh, it has only been shown at the New York Comic Con, so I'm sorry, Paris, you are number two in the line. Il a, il a, il a, il a un petit cadeau pour nous. Il a un petit cadeau pour nous. Désolé, il a déjà été montré au New York Comic Con. En général, on ne dit pas, on dit rien. Mais bon, voilà, il a, il a, il a quand même dit la vérité. Donc tant mieux. Mais voilà, mais c'est un, un, un petit cadeau. But it has not been seen à Londres. Londres. Il n'a pas été montré à Londres, par exemple. Voilà. Ok. Can we have a look? Go. C'est parti. From la bar in Hudson. Il faut savoir que Jean-Luc Picard vient de là-bas, en Haute-Saône. Uh, his parents are named Maurice et Yvette. Ses parents s'appellent, les parents de Jean-Luc Picard sont Maurice et Yvette. What's so French about Picard? Qu'est-ce qu'il y a de français chez Picard? You're in France, so I have to ask you this question. Uh -huh. Well, it is wonderful to be here, by the way, uh, in France, in Paris. Je suis heureux d'être ici, en France, à Paris. We are all of us so excited. Uh, this is the first opportunity that I have had to be in front of an all-French audience. Now, if you watch the original Next Generation... Vous avez vu à l'époque la, la, la New Generation? I don't think I spoke one word of French. <laughs> Je ne crois pas avoir dit un seul mot en français de, de, de toute la série. Which was a disgrace! <laughs> C'est une honte! C'est 
So, we have made up for it this time. So, uh, you, I, I, we do have a little clip, but I have been told that permission has not really been given to show this clip because it's... Uh, Il y avait un petit clip à montrer, mais ils n'ont pas la permission, donc... Euh... Um, but it is Jean-Luc speaking French. Jean-Luc qui parle français. To his people. <laughs> who, of course, can't respond. Voilà, et donc euh, il voulait nous montrer un petit clip, mais a priori, des, pour des raisons de droit, ça n'a ça, ça pas l'air euh, possible. What kind of, of uh, Star Trek fans are you guys uh, who wants to answer this question? Que quel genre de fan de Star Trek êtes vous? Um, <laughs> uh, I was a Star Trek fan. Michel. A Trekkie? Michel. Um, Vous êtes une fan de Star Trek. Mm, and to be able to uh, be a part of this project with this man. Et dans ce projet avec cet homme. Oh my God. <laughs> oh mon Dieu. It is a gift. I can, I'm sure you can all imagine. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's something that I really appreciate. C'est un cadeau pour moi. Gift, I feel blessed. Um, as well as with this group right here, they're amazing. You guys, I can't wait for you to all meet us. It's, it's a fun, a, an amazing piece. Ivan? Uh, so I grew up watching Next Generation with my mom and my sisters, so I used to work with Patrick. The hero of mine is a dream come true. Il a grandi euh, en regardant New Generation avec sa, avec sa sœur et donc euh, il était un, un, un grand fan. Euh, Aiza I'm gonna say something not popular and say I had not watched much of Star Trek before this. Elle n'avait pas beaucoup regardé Star Trek avant. Mais Thank you, Aiza, goodbye. <laughs> There's the door. But what I did know, I mean, I had always seen clips on TV. Elle avait vu des, des, des extraits à la télévision. And what I always did see was that um, it was always at the forefront of progression. So that was always what I knew about the show. Un peu la progression et... Having role models like George Takei and the, getting to watch people that looked like me and my family, that was what really resonated with me and what makes being a part of this so special. C'est pour ça que c'est très spécial pour elle. Pour... Santiago, that you have to ask me the question or not? Yeah, um, I, of course, was always very aware of Star Trek. I was never a fan as a kid, but I, as a kid, but I have definitely become one because I watched a lot of many, many hours before starting to shoot this. And, and the one thing I asked myself as I was watching was, why was I never a fan of the show? And I asked my parents, I was like, why did we never watch Star Trek? It's like, I, it's because I immediately understood the uh, why, you know, it has such an audience worldwide and why people love it so much. In fact, he lost his retard a bit later, and after he said to his parents, but why didn't we watch that? Why didn't we watch that? And he understood the incredible engagement that there was. Are there any cosplayers, uh, Star Trek cosplayers in the, in, in the place today? Is there any people who are dressed in Star Trek today? Yes, <laughs> oui, bravo! <laughs> So you're back. So you're back. Uh, yes, I'm back. But you know, your costume. What happens? I, I, I'm back, but I may not be here much longer um, because I've got to ask Issa. When you were watching those clips, who was your favorite character? <laughs> Don't say, don't say Luke Skywalker, please. <laughs> Luke Skywalker. No, but it's it's true though. When I went back and once I got this job and went back and, and like like Santiago, I watched probably four seasons all in like a week, and I again was like how had I not been watching this and, and, and I be realized as I was filming I was a much bigger fan than I thought I was when I started to meet 
people from the uh, uh, from the original series and meeting um, Jonathan Frakes, Marina Sirtis, and I was geeking out working with them. So I must say, Captain Jean-Luc Picard is my favorite character. <laughs> Euh, c'était le euh, monsieur Picard qui était son personnage euh, préféré. Ok, uh, we will have to wait until January uh, to see, to watch uh, uh, these brand new episodes. But what can you tease about your, your characters? Uh, maybe you can, you can start tell us a little bit about your character. So I play a young Romulan boy called Elnor. Um, he's not raised. Uh, like your normal Romulan, so we'll get to see a different side of how... Of C'est un Romulian, et il n'est pas élevé comme tous les Romuliens. Um, expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and um, raised in a sect known as the uh, Co-op Malap. Alors, on va, on va, on va découvrir son, son personnage tout à l'heure aussi. Would you like to say a word about, about your character? Yes, I play Dodge, and uh, she is a young woman, um, kind of ex uh, going into the next chapter of her life, experiencing... Uh, just being a young 20-year-old girl. Elle découvre, c'est aussi elle joue une, une jeune femme qui, qui, qui a une vingtaine d'années et qui, qui, découvre, qui découvre le monde. But a tragic incident happens which sends me seeking help from Picard. Voilà, elle va, elle va chercher de l'aide auprès de... Oh, elle va chercher, pardon, de l'aide auprès de, de, de Picard. I play uh, Cristóbal Chris uh, Rios. I'm um, the captain and pilot of uh, La Sirena, which is a ship that will be very present in this, on the show, and it's... The captain of a new, a new engine that will be extremely present in this series. And it's just me on my ship, but I somehow end up with everyone uh, on board. But there is, there is, um, I, my character is ex-Starfleet, and uh, he has a traumatic event in his past that made him break with Starfleet, so it creates a very interesting dynamic with this man and he has a very strong friendship with this beautiful lady. Il a une relation extrêmement euh, euh, forte avec cette jeune et belle femme, c'est ce qui j'emploie ces mots euh, bien sûr, il y a une relation qui est en train de se créer avec avec Picard. I play a, a woman named Rafi. She's very complicated. Elle est très compliquée. Mm, she's a bit damaged. She has a very complicated relationship with Picard. Elle a une relation très compliquée avec They've Picard. worked together in the past. Um, she has a very complicated relationship with uh, Starfleet, the Federation rather. Um, she is not without her vices. Um, she's a genius hacker and a security analyst. And she's a little sarcastic. Elle est sarcastique, elle est une hackeuse, on peut dire en français Oui, enfin, ouais, la hackeuse, a priori, elle est très branchée euh, sur tout ce qui est hack, etc. Et elle a une relation euh, avec... Oui, bien sûr, sure, no. uh, What everyone has had to leave out are their backstories. And one of the elements I think is so wonderful about Star Trek Picard is that each one of these characters has complexity and richness and trouble and problems in their lives which only emerge gradually as the first season unfolds but they emerge in a brilliant and fascinating way so what they've just told you is actually the outline because there's so much more that all of them share if we don't know what you want to emphasize on Patrick Stewart is that voilà, là ils vous ont donné un petit résumé, mais ils ont des, des, chacun a des caractéristiques, ils ont chacun des caractéristiques extrêmement compliquées, ils ont une backstory, une... Enfin, là, je, je fais mon vendame, je cherche les mots en français, mais c'est pas grave. Euh, une backstory des histoires qui, qui lui est assez complexe, et ils ils, c'est des personnages extrêmement, extrêmement riches. Uh, uh, you have a new number one in Star Trek Picard. I think you have a new number one. Vous avez un nouveau numéro un. Dans, 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 dans Star Trek Picard. Who, who's this guy? Yes, I've already mentioned that there is a dog, a fabulous, beautiful, sweetheart, Pitbull. And uh, he, as many of you who have been able to examine that photograph, that photograph well, will know his name is 
number one. Numero un, nombre un, numero un. Il a un chien, alors il a le chien qui est, qui est, qui est un pitbull qui était extraordinaire dans le film euh, et qui s'appelle euh, euh, numéro un. Un play by the Neuros of Dog. Dinero, Dino, Dinero. Dinero, Dinero, Dinero. Il est joué par un acteur qui s'appelle Dinero, enfin, un acteur chien. <rire> un acteur chien euh, qui s'appelle Dinero, Dinero de de. Because it is Star Trek connected, given what the philosophy of Gene Roddenberry and Robert Justman and Rick Berman was when we were shooting Next Generation. You see before you five actors, and we are, each one of us, from very diverse backgrounds and experiences. Now, I don't think that was a conscious act when this series was being cast. But it is absolutely appropriate that it should be so, because diversity is becoming increasingly important in the world of showbiz and entertainment. As so many people are making it plain. I have a little, uh, uh, little now push for. In, in two weeks' time, there is a new Charlie's Angels movie, movie opening, and. If you want to see something about female empowerment. Le casting montre bien la diversité et l'importance de la diversité que dans le monde a besoin de cette diversité. Il va bientôt être dans un dans un nouveau drôle de dame, Charlie's Angels, au, 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 au cinéma, et vous verrez euh, la, la, la manière dont les femmes prennent le pouvoir dans cette dans ce film. But, and you, you, you can participate in this or not, depending on how you feel. Um, this is, in fact, this weekend is a very, very bitter experience for me in many respects. Because for the last 35 years, I have been so proud to belong to a country that was part of the European Union. C'est un week-end triste euh, ces derniers temps parce que ça fait 35 ans qu'il fait partie euh, de l'Europe. And I am embarrassed. Je suis gêné. To stand here in front of you, representing a country that is seeking to break that invaluable connection and which so many of us that I was part of the million person march last Saturday in London. I, 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 I want you to know that well more than half of the population of the United Kingdom wants to stay in the European Union. Vous voulez me dire, c'est juste qu'il a fait partie de la marche euh, à Londres le week euh, samedi où euh, marchaient énormément euh, de Britanniques et il a honte euh, de, 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 de représenter un pays qui veut sortir euh, de, de, de l'Europe et, euh, et, et voilà, et donc euh, je résume en gros ce qu'il fait. The, board, the Berlin Wall came down. Le, le mur est tombé. The Soviet Union ended its dominance and control over so many other nations. Apartheid was ended in South Africa. The Good Friday Agreement brought together, although there are still problems, uh, Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. And the European Union is all part of that movement. And it is a disgrace that individuals in my country are treating Uh, are attempting to separate us. That's right. <laughs>
fait, euh, il, a, il a dit qu'il avait honte que c'était euh, que quand le mur apartheid s'est terminé, le mur de Berlin est tombé, l'Union soviétique n'existe plus d'une certaine manière. Voilà, mais que euh, il a honte que ça se passe comme ça. You wanna, you, you wanna... Just to say one thing, as an American, I just want to apologize for what's happening in my country. Je voudrais s'excuser pour ce qui se passe en ce moment aux États-Unis. Merci beaucoup, Star Trek, Pita, Janvier, Tonumba sur Amazon Prime. Merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup. Winter.